Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about formulations or ingredients or skin health products or something you may have heard or read about, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And, of course, if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, you can sign up to join the team right off the website and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you're the type of person that likes to help people, if you're the type of person that wants to make a difference in the world, this is a golden opportunity to change the world patient by patient, individual by individual, and make some money at the same time. And get your products at the wholesale price to boot. Offer a one-time $25 fee. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 if you have questions. And, of course, if you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel. Retinol, by the way, is not just an anti-aging product or ingredient. Retinol is also very effective for acne. In fact, it is the most effective topical ingredient that you can use for acne-prone skin or blemished skin. Retinol and retinoic acid, or retinol 5% cream, 5% gel, I should say, is designed, it's formulated to be the equivalent in retinoic acid, in, in retinol power or retinoid power to retin-A 0.05%. Plus, you get a big old dose of vitamin C with it. You don't get that in your retin-A. So, and, of course, vitamin C has its own anti-acne benefits. Our retinol 5% gel is not just for acne, but also for the dark spots that appear after an acne blemish shows up, so-called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Retinol can be very beneficial for that. And, of course, you also get your anti-aging benefits with retinol. Retinol 5% gel. Check it out at truthtreatments.com. Okay. The bright side's about simplicity, right? That's the hallmark pillar of the philosophy, what I call the bright side philosophy, simplicity. Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain a subject to a six-year-old, you didn't understand it yourself. And this is as relevant for health and nutrition and disease as it is for physics or anything else. Last time we spoke, we said that all health issues are the manifestation of a hyped up, scared, freaked out body operating in survival mode. To be technical, the result of long-term activation of what's known as the sympathetic nervous system. Yes, I know. We've talked about this all the time. Repetition is reinforcement, however, and really that's what it's all about. You can't get around it. you got to talk about the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system if you're going to understand how to be healthy. And th- it really is that simple. All disease has behind it. All chronic degenerative disease has behind it. All of it. All of it. A-L-L. All of it has activation of the sympathetic nervous system which is why healing begins with calming the body down. And you know what? It doesn't get any simpler than that. That is the quintessence of simplicity. Calm the body down, get better. When we learn to to deactivate the jacked up sympathetic nervous system at will, 
we will be able to deactivate, likewise, chronic degenerative disease, the development of chronic degenerative disease. This, this sympathetic nervous system, this safety nervous system, survival nervous system is is obviously critical for getting out of a, get, getting us out of a jam. It's unbelievably important for redirecting blood flow to the muscles and, and, and taking resources away from unnecessary, at least in the emergency, in an emergency setting, unnecessary organs like the digestive system, redirecting blood flow from the digestive system to the muscles. The sympathetic nervous system is obviously incredibly important, but the problem with the sympathetic nervous system as we experience it is it's chronically activated. We have created a culture that is, couldn't be more perfect, more perfectly designed to activate the sympathetic nervous system between our psychological stresses and our emotional stresses. And we have, we have a, 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 an economic system that is that thrives on our need to survive it thrives on us being scared it's designed for us to be in fear all the time that way we'll buy more products we have created a culture that induces fear that induces this safety survival mechanism that turns it on not to, that doesn't even include the foods that we eat or the lack of nutrition so it shouldn't come as any surprise that chronic degenerative diseases are on the rise, that they're increasing dramatically. The vast majority of our costs, our health care costs, and our health and our deaths and our mortality is related to chronic degenerative disease. And the rates keep going up and up and up. It should be as, come as no surprise. This is simplicity. You're not going to hear this from a doctor. You're going to hear about all kinds of fancy schmancy biochemical mechanisms and genetics and blah, 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 blah. You're not going to hear the simple idea. Our bodies are freaked out. That's basically it. That's why calming the body down is so important. Understanding this basic idea. Calming the body down is the key to longevity. It's the key to everything that works to keep the body healthy or restore the body back to health. I'm putting myself out of a job by saying this. Because you don't need me. You don't need anybody. Okay, maybe to have some, for some specific details on how to calm the body down, but once you understand that it's basically that chronic degenerative diseases, from cancer to heart disease to acne to eczema to you name it, autoimmune diseases, whatever, once we understand that this is all the manifestation of an activated survival nervous system, sympathetic nervous system, and once we understand the link to calming the body down in good health, every single chronic degenerative disease can begin to disappear. From the journal Arthritis Research and Therapy, December 12, 2014. The sympathetic nervous system response in inflammation. Quote, over the past decade, evidence has accumulated clearly demonstrating a pivotal role for the sympathetic nervous system and its neurotransmitters, i.e. adrenaline and cortisol, in regulating inflammation. Inflammation. Anytime you hear the word inflammation in your disease, which is all chronic degenerative diseases, anytime they give you an anti-inflammatory like prednisone, they're telling you that your health challenge is an inflammatory health challenge. Tell them to read this article from Arthritis Research and Therapy. You know, there's all kinds of articles. This is a great one, though. The Sympathetic Nervous System Response and Inflammation. Tell your doctor to read this. Calming the body down is the key. This is the difference between cure and reversal. If we're sick, we don't need to be cured. We need to be reversed. Cure is magic. Reverse is logic. Doctors don't even use the word cure. It's so magical. But reversal, that's logical. Provide the body what it needs. Remove the barriers. The conditions will reverse seemingly spontaneously. It's not really spontaneously, but seemingly spontaneously on their own. This is what accounts for the seeming miracle of what we call the mighty 90 essential nutrients and the strategies we talk about on the bright side five days a week. The Mighty 90, seem, when you use the Mighty 90 and you get better, it seems like a miracle. It's not a miracle. When you use some of these strategies we talk about on the bright side every day, it seems like a miracle. When your health challenge is reversed, it's not a miracle. It's logical. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, or if you have just general health questions, if you want to wean yourself or a loved one off their prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you're interested in a good nutritional supplement program, you want to check out the Longevity products. It's always new products. I can't even keep up with all the products. The latest is the Ultimate Niacin, 500 milligrams, timed release niacin. Niacin, one of the all-time great nutritional supplements. You know, niacin is so important for the body. The brain will actually make its own niacin under deficiency conditions. We make our own niacin, one of the rare vi- I think it's the only vitamin that, that is actually made. Let me think about that for a second. Well, of course, vitamin D. Yeah, aside from vitamin D, uh, the body makes its own niacin. That's kind of cool. That shows you how important that stuff is. The one knock on niacin is that it can cause some flushing when you take high doses of it. And that's why Doc came out with the ultimate niacin, which is a timed release niacin for blood pressure, lowers blood pressure, lowers blood cholesterol, very important for blood sugar, important for mood, skin health issues, digestive health issues. Niacin is just a stupendously important vitamin. Social anxiety disorder, Asperger's syndrome, weaning yourself off of nicotine. All right, so we're talking about uh, we're talking about calming the body down. This whole idea, calming the body down, relaxing the body. No matter what your health challenge is, the first thing you want to do is relax the body. Activate the parasympathetic nervous system. There's lots of ways to do it. The the best way, the quickest way, is deep breathing, slow deep breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. Get to know your diaphragm. It's a muscle that splits the body from top to bottom, right in the middle, right under your breastbone. That's where your diaphragm is. You want to be breathing so that you can feel it, uh, feel the diaphragm or at least sense the diaphragm going down and up. As you inhale, the diaphragm goes down to f- kind of fill up the lungs. And then as you exhale, the diaphragm comes up, pushing the, lungs, uh, pushing the air out of the lungs. The movement of the diaphragm is something that singers all recognize. If you're a professional singer, you're working with your diaphragm. If you're a professional speaker, you're working with your diaphragm. If you're doing cold calls, if you're a a salesperson doing cold calls, or if you're on the phone a lot, you want to learn how to project your voice through the diaphragm. You sound a lot cooler. You sound a lot more professional. You sound a lot lot more like you know what you're talking about if you're talking from your diaphragm. If you're talking from your upper, upper here, it doesn't sound so professional. It doesn't sound so authoritative. But if you use your diaphragm, you have a lot more power. The center of power, the, the center of the body is the key to power in the body, and that's where the diaphragm is. So deep, slow, diaphragmatic breathing will relax the body. Always exhale more than you inhale. There's some very interesting reasons for that, but for one, for one main reason, the exhale is where you relax. The exhale is actually where the relaxation occurs. Sighing, sighing relaxes. You can just sigh. You know what else you could do? Yawn. Sighing and yawning are two great ways to activate, or, uh, to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, to deactivate the stress nervous system. From the journal Clinical Autonomic Research, August 1996, inhibition of muscle sympathetic nerve activity during yawning. Inhibition of sympathetic nerve activity during yawning. The slow expiration following a yawn, that's the sigh part, is associated with, I'm sorry, the the yawn is associated with a drop in sympathetic activation. Yawning will relax the body. You can just fake yawn. You know, if you fake yawn five or six times, eventually you're going to get a real yawn. Just go, oh, do five or six times, and you'll get into a real yawn. Yawning is a great way to deactivate the sympathetic nervous system. Touching your tongue to your soft palate, tickling your soft palate with your tongue is another great way. Softening your facial muscles. We hold all kinds of tension in our facial muscles. When we have tension in our musculoskeletal system, the combination of our bones and our muscles, when we have contraction and tension, the brain thinks there's an emergency. And it will send a message to the adrenal glands to crank out stress hormone. Just the muscular contraction will do it. Interestingly, stress hormone will cause more muscular contraction. So you get this this vicious cycle where stress hormone causes muscular contraction, which causes more stress hormone, which causes more muscular contraction, and on and on you go. So relaxing the muscles. If you can figure out how to relax all your muscles, and and we can do it at will, really. Just make yourself like a rag doll. If you can make yourself like a rag doll, you're going to drop your sympathetic, you're going to suppress sympathetic activity and activate the parasympathetic nervous system, especially in the face. We hold all kinds of tension in our face, and especially in the jaw. 
Relaxing the jaw is a great way to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Relax your face, your muscles, and specifically your jaw and your tongue. Relax your whole jaw and tongue, and you'll automatic, you'll, the entire body will all automatically relax because the same way that contraction tells the brain to, to, to stimulate the secretion of cortisol, relaxation tells the brain to stimulate the production of relaxing hormones like pregnenolone and progesterone. This is the kind of control we have over our body. This is what a doctor should be telling us. This is the kind of stuff we should be focusing on if we're truly interested in health. When was the last time somebody got a prescription for relaxing their masseter muscle, which is your jaw muscle, the, the most powerful, one of the top two or three most powerful muscles in the body, maybe the most powerful muscle in the body, the masseter muscle in the jaw. Lightly touching the palm of your hand. Self-hypnosis, that's another great one. You can hypnotize yourself. You can go into self-hypnosis just by counting down from, from 10 to 1 and doing it correctly. Uh, there's a great self-hypnosis system called the Silva Method. You may have heard of this. A guy named Jose Silva came up with it. And they have uh, all kinds of programs that cost you 100 bucks to buy the programs, but you can get them for free. Just Google the Silva Method. Some of you guys probably know what that is. Focusing on body parts will activate the sympathetic nervous system. Just paying attention to body parts will do it. Paying attention to your feet, paying attention to your hands will do it. Hot water will do it. Meditation will do it. Something called open eye focus where you stare at, uh, you, you look out of the periphery of your eyes. You look, look out of the uh, sides of your eyes. Most of the time when we look or when, we're, when our eyes are open, we're looking or concentrating or focusing from the center. That activates the stress nervous system. Focusing activates the sympathetic nervous system. F uh, looking at something from the sides of your eyes, from your peripheral vision, will do the opposite. Paying attention to body rhythms, paying attention to breathing, paying attention to any rhythm will actually put you into a parasympathetic state. That's why uh, a hypno hypnotist will use a metronome or the hypnotist will use uh, one of those watches. You know, you are getting sleepy, you are getting sleepy, the old stereotype of a, hip of a hypnotist. Paying attention to a rhythm puts us into a parasympathetic mode. Listening to environmental sounds. It doesn't have to be nature either. It could be just the sounds in your house or in your apartment. Just listening to all, you know how many different sounds are going on at any one time? There's the sounds of the pipes, and there's the sounds of the air conditioner, and there's the sounds of the, the, the uh, uh, creaky floors, and there's the sounds of the birds, and there's sounds everywhere, and we never focus on them. But if you were to pay, start to pay attention to all the sounds in the room, you could do it right now, pay attention to all the sounds in, in the room, you will drop into a parasympathetic state. Paying attention to anything will do it. That's called mindfulness, and it's now being used as medicine. You, there's a, a mindfulness research center at the UCLA School of Medicine. A guy named John Kabat-Zinn, Z-I-N-N, John Kabat-Zinn, is a medical doctor from Harvard. He came up with a whole mind, mindfulness protocol for dealing with chronic pain and post-traumatic stress syndrome. Mindfulness activates the parasympathetic nervous system. Are you seeing a trend here? See a pattern? Disease, sympathetic, health, parasympathetic. And that's kind of general, but, you know, there's some exceptions, of course. My pharmacist, Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got, got the, a couple lines open for you. We'll get your call. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist, Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you're interested in checking out our truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Check out our retinol 5% gel or truth balm, truth serum, and truth omega-6 healing cream. If you're dealing with rashes or eczema or sunburn or any kind of burn, the truth omega-6 healing cream is designed specifically to heal the skin. And healing the skin is anti-aging the skin. Healing the skin is moisturizing the skin. Healing the skin is creating healthier skin, whether your skin is broken or wounded or not. That's how you can tell if a skincare product, an anti-aging skincare product, is really doing its thing, is if it will accelerate healing, if it will speed healing. The healing process is the anti-aging process. It's the same thing. If you could put a product on a burn or a cut or a scrape and it will speed up the healing, not merely, not merely prevent infection, but actually literally speed up the healing from a nutritional standpoint, a feeding standpoint, that's an anti-aging product. We also blog at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com 
Okay, hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a moment from the journal NeuroImage. Regular exercise at any age may stave off Alzheimer's disease. How do you like that? A little bit of exercise as long as it's regular. And that's the thing about exercise. You don't need to be in the gym for an hour or a half an hour for that matter, or even 25 or 20 minutes. You can get a great workout in five minutes. You can get a great workout in one minute if you do it correctly. And you don't even need to go to the gym. Get a, a couple of heavy books, put them over your sh- uh, hold them over your shoulder, and sit down and stand up 10 times while you're holding the books over your shoulder. A couple of heavy books, or anything heavy for that matter. If you have weights, five-pound dumbbells will do it. Just hold five-pound dumbbells over your head and stand and sit and stand and sit 10 times. One of the best glute exercises you could do, glute and hamstring exercises you could do. There's all kinds of ways that you can stimulate the body, exercise the body. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot of work. And, and, you know, we talked about calming the body down, but movement and stress is also important. But it has to be a little bit of stress and a lot of long, luscious rest and relaxation. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Kentucky and welcome Jed to the bright side. What's up, Jed? How you doing, man? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing good. What's cooking today? I have a, a grandchild. He's less than a year old, and he uh, had several hemangiomas under the skin, not the surface. I have a child. His uncle has uh, one on his shoulder that his mother had removed. But anyway, he had five that they had located. So because of that, they looked at his liver with ultrasound and MRI, and they have found a, I think, a one centimeter. They said uh, sugar cube size, uh, 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 a mes- mes- mesenchromes. Hematoma, a ham, hamartoma, hamartoma. I'm sorry, the big long word. But you know what? It's a, it's a benign. He's got a liver tumor. Tumor that is, you know, will take some of the blood. Most of the ones on the skin go away by a year. My son had it removed when he was nine or ten. So it was what they call a strawberry birthmark. His were on top. That one was on top. My grandson has. I found five below the skin. So I was okay. looking for a game. As far as yeah, here's a game plan. Here's, that's a good question. That's a good question, Jed. You want to focus on f- uh, the n- – it's really easy with babies in a way because the only thing a baby's doing is eating, right? He doesn't have a lot of stress going on. He's not like – he's not uh, – uh, he's not injecting anything or drinking alcohol or, you know, it, it, unless he's been vaccinated. Sometimes that can be a problem. But for the most part, it's going to be coming in through his food. So is it uh- – at least start the vaccines. I am trying to work on that a little bit. Well, vaccines are a wild card, that's for sure. You can't really tell. You know, there's no predicting with vaccines. So we're gonna, we're just gonna put that to the side because can't do anything about that. But you can do something about food. Is he breastfeeding? Yes. Uh, okay. He's just begin to eat uh, some food. Some okay. Problems. Focus on mom. Focus on mom's health. That's if, if, if the kid is breastfeeding, then mom is where you need to be approaching. Digestive issues with mom, nutritional issues with mom. Mom needs to make sure she's getting the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Mom needs to make sure she's getting fats, especially omega-3 fats, as well as minerals like selenium and iodine and zinc, all very important for growth and for fighting things off and uh, building connective tissue. Um, and then also vitamin C. Mom needs to be supplementing and also making sure she's eating correctly. If she has any digestive health issues, those need to be corrected because that's going to all come through the breast milk. Be very careful with the kind of foods that the baby eats. And then make sure mom is using fermented foods and probiotics so she's passing good bacteria on to the baby. I would say that if you got some uh, hemangioma issues, five of them at this young age, that something is getting into the baby's system, something uh, dramatic is getting into the baby's system. Go ahead. I said he was uh, actually born with those five. They were found. Uh, oh, they were found at birth. Okay, well, it could have been then while the baby was, you know, in the womb. It, one way or another, mom is, it's, you got to focus on mom here. Okay? Yeah. That's, what I would be, that's what I would be doing. All right, Jed, I got to move. Thanks so much for your call, buddy. Hope I helped you out. All right, All right uh, moving on to South Carolina. Hobie. Hobie, is that how you say it? Hobby? Hobie? Uh, Hobie. Hobie. Yeah. What's up, Hobie? How you doing, man? Uh, my daughter just, uh, she was diagnosed here. Well, they haven't diagnosed it yet. But they called it the, the uh, temporal, and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, arteritis, temporal arteritis. I'm not sure what you're saying here. What, to, just in English, what has she, she got? Had, uh, What's she dealing with? Yeah, she's had migraine headaches. Okay. She went and they did some blood work, and they thought that 
the the blood vessels coming into the temporal lobe. No, uh, no, nah, nah, uh, nah. That's just that's just gobbledygook. That's Doctor Gobbledygook. No, I figured. Okay, so here's the deal Just with migraines, okay? And they're, they're not uncommon, unfortunately, and they're miserable, absolutely miserable. How old is your daughter, by the way? Uh, I think she's about 34. Okay. Well, do you know anything about her menstrual cycles? Does she have painful periods or anything like that, heavy periods? Yes, sir. Okay, well, that's where, you're, that's where your problem is. Migraines are a classic example of a sympathetic nervous system running amok. In fact, this is from the journal Headache, 2004. I actually was just reading this this, this morning. Migraine, a chronic sympathetic nervous system disorder. The major finding of this study is that migraine is a, this is a quote, is a disorder of chronic sympathetic nervous system dysfunction. You, she's a, her body's operating in emergency mode. The major reason for this, there's two major reasons for this. There's a, there's a lot of reasons, but there's two major reasons. Food and the hormone estrogen. Both of those are the culprits. The fact that she's having problems with her periods, with her menstrual cycle, tells me she's probably got an estrogen issue. Whenever you have, and we're going to talk about this more on Monday, uh, estrogen issues. Whenever you have an estrogen-related health challenge, and many health challenges are estrogen-related, you want to focus on how the body processes fats. That means at the intestine and the liver level. Also, the, the gallbladder is involved, too. Really, the whole digestive tract is involved. It's a digestive system issue. Estrogen problems need to be treated as digestive system issues. This should be as no, come as no surprise to anybody who listens to this program, but particularly around fats. That means probiotics, good bacteria. I get her on the ultimate nightly essence, uh, three capsules three times a day, fermented foods, more fiber, Grind, uh, making her own vegetable juices in a Vitamix, making sure she's getting enough fiber, the very important relationship between fiber and intestinal health and estrogen. Just get her on some pregnenolone. Go to the health food store and get 100 milligrams of pregnenolone to help balance out that estrogen. She can also use progesterone cream. Got to take a break, ho- uh, Hobby. Hobby or Hobby? Hobie, uh, I've got to take a break. So hang tight. I've got a few more things I want to tell you, okay? Don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben talking to Hobie in South Hobie. Carolina about migraines. You there, my friend? Yes, sir, I am. Okay, so two two major factors with migraine headaches, which are related to an activated sympathetic nervous system, stress nervous system, survival nervous system. Uh, number one, estrogen and how the body handles estrogen. That means di- uh, working with fats, fat metabolism, use probiotics, fermented foods, fiber. You should also probably be, use, excuse me, be using digestive enzymes with all meals. Probably lecithin with all meals would help you as well. And then there's nutrients that balance out estrogen, progesterone, and pregnenolone. They're not really nutrients, but they can help. Get her on 100 milligrams of pregnenolone a day, or you can have her using progesterone cream. Uh, nutrients that have a balancing effect on estrogen, vitamin A and vitamin E, 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day, 400 international units of vitamin E a day. It wouldn't hurt her to get some sunshine and make sure she's getting some vitamin D. Also, right. uh, mineral magnesium is very important for relaxing everything. It has a nice relaxing effect. Yeah. Now, uh, okay. a couple thousand milligrams of that a day. Get her on the Healthy Start Pack. Have her sipping slowly on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The two major reasons why people get migraines are ex- or changes or, or uh, uh, imbalances and, and poorly processed estrogen. And second is food triggers. So see if she can do a food diary. Write down everything she eats and notice if there's a relationship between specific foods and her migraine yeah. headaches. And then she's going to have to we eliminate those foods. Uh, What's that? I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, we were going to suggest her to get a... Get off all wheat completely. That's a great idea. I mean, there's, don't don't just blame wheat. It could be barley. It could be oats. It could be broccoli. Well, that's it could what be I mean. any any of that. Any of that. Wheat. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes, that's all yeah. a good idea. But, but best to see if you can link the migraines to specific foods or digestive symptoms to specific foods and sure. then eliminate those foods. i got to move, my friend. Right. I hope I helped you. Okay. Thanks for your call. Okay. Thank you. Take care, bro. Take care. All right, Christian in California, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Christian? Uh, hi, uh Thank you for uh, taking my call, first of all. I just had a quick question. Um, basically, I'm trying to figure out what, exactly what I have. Uh, I've been taking the products for about maybe four years now, on and off, and the same sort of issue I keep having in general is just that I just feel very weak and tired. And okay. it was a point in time where, uh, where you know, I'm pretty much uh, stopped eating all the wheat, um, you know, pretty much breads and all that. I used to be pretty much big on that. Okay. And um, I just eventually stopped and I have noticed a significant difference, especially when it comes to my 
just overall walking around and never noticed how, uh, how different it is. Because before I would walk and it didn't seem like as if, you know, like I would walk, but now I can actually feel my bones. But point being, um, I still have that issue of, of just feeling really weak fatigue, all the time. Fatigue, generally fatigue. So, how old are you, Christian? I'm 24. Oh, dude, you're way too young. All right, so yeah. a, couple, a couple things. First of all, just to quickly get some energy, uh, start doing some salt water, Celtic sea salt in water. Mm-hmm. All right, put a, maybe a teaspoon of water and sip on it. Do you crave salty foods? Um, sometimes, but generally speaking, I just salt my foods anyways. But, but do, uh, do, do some extra. Do some extra okay. salt in water. Do si- uh-huh. sip on salt water. And get on the healthy start pack. Get back on it. You said on and off, but get back on it. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine slowly throughout the day. More mm-hmm. protein and more coconut oil. And keep uh, stay away from foods that drop your blood sugar or that spike your blood sugar and then drop your blood sugar. And that the way the best way to do that is more protein, especially a specific kind of protein or amino acids called the branched chain amino acids. They're very important for helping the body get energy and uh, energy without having to resort to sugar. So uh, branch chain amino acid supplements you can use, or you can get uh, you can use whey protein and egg protein, both of which are great sources of branch chain amino acids. And you should probably be eating more protein too. Bone soup, where you make chicken soup uh, with the real bones. I'm sure you heard me talk about that. And vegetable juice. In fact, that's what you should be eating for a while: is just chicken soup, vegetable juice, and coconut oil. And then make sure you're using your you're getting the mighty 90 essential nutrients from the Healthy Start Pack. And then, I don't know if you're exercising, but believe it or not, a little bit of intense exercise can actually have an energizing effect, can upregulate energy. The last thing is, it sounds like you're dealing with some adrenal stress issues. Your adrenals, it sounds like adrenal fatigue is really what it sounds like. Do you ever feel dizzy, by the way, when you stand up uh, from a sitting position or uh, from a laying down position, anything like uh, that? Yeah, well, as of right now, I'm currently just uh, taking uh, certain products. I'm just taking the... PTT 2.0 and no, no, hang on, Christian. Do, do you ever feel woozy or dizzy when you get up quickly or, or get up out of a standing or sitting position? Or, or Before I did, now I, I really uh, sort of do still, but it's like significantly getting a better. Lot less okay, good. Yeah. good. That's then like you're on the right track. Yeah. You're on the right track. A couple of miscellaneous uh-huh. things for the adrenal glands: uh, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day, uh, iodine. Uh, get on some iodorol, 125 micrograms or so a day of iodorol, and then I'd be doing high doses of vitamin C. You may want to make uh, get some vitamin B12 shots also. And then if you have any foods that trigger any digestive health issues, that's going to be very taxing on the body. It's going to cost you a lot of energy and resources. So stay away from foods that give you bloating or gas or nausea, or diarrhea, or constipation. Anything that throws off your digestive health is going to cost you energy. So stay away from those foods. In fact, calorie restriction is probably the best way to go. Just eating less foods in general. If you want one more thing, I'd be using the Swero V, which can have a nice, powerful, energizing effect, and it's also very tasty as well. I like the Swero V Gold, but uh, any of the Swero V products, they're electrolytes and fermented whey. All right, Christian, I hope that helps you, my friend. i got to motivate. Have a good day, bro. Good luck. All right, thank you. Yep. Okay, take care. All right, Kyle in California. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Kyle? Uh, yes, I, I developed some kind of rash um, on Monday the 9th, and it's been growing and getting worse. The doctors um, took a picture, gave it to the dermatologist. They gave it some kind of crazy name that the nurse put in. It's a rash, though, picture. basically. Does it itch? Very much and very okay. red. They gave me steroid cream. Well, you don't need. That's not going to. You know, that might take. Get that might reduce the symptoms, which can help. Of course, you don't want to be itchy all the time. But it's not going to help the problem. When you have a rash on the skin, you've got an activated skin immune system. The skin is a major center of inflammation and immunity. So it makes perfect sense that. Uh, that uh, uh, when there's some kind of immune or inflammatory reaction, it's going to show up on the skin. The immune system is largely, in addition to the skin, which is a major center of immunity, the most important place where the immune system becomes activated is in the digestive system. Here's the thing. When your immune system and inflammatory system become activated in the digestive system, it will become activated everywhere. The immune system is like one big piece. It's like, it's like a, a unified whole. So when it's activated in the digestive tract, it's going to also get activated in the skin. This is the major reason why you get unexplained rashes on the skin. Pretty much the only reason why you get unexplained rashes on the skin. Now, you can sometimes have topical issues where, you know, laundry detergent or some perfume or ingredient in a cream or lotion can do it, but that's rare. 
the major reason why we get unexplained rashes, spontaneous rashes on the skin is because of digestive distress. So Kyle, any digestive health issues, food allergies, food intolerances, digestive symptoms? Kyle? Um, I didn't have any. We don't have, you don't have any? Is that what you're no. saying? Find them. Yes. They're there. If you got a rash, they're there. Yeah. So you got to look for them. Uh, and you may have to do a, what I would do if I were you is I would fast for a couple of days because it always helps to clear the decks and then re- that resensitizes you to things that we don't notice. Here's the thing about about digestive symptomology. A lot of times if we have some, a problem our whole lives or for much of our lives, we don't notice them. So you got to take a couple of days off from food and then reintroduce foods and do a food diary. It's very difficult to get a rash unless occasionally or rarely they'll be topical, but that doesn't sound like what you've got. It sounds to me like it's an internal issue and that would be the digestive system. Them. So focus on foods and food elimination and all the things we talk about here. Fast and then do the elimination diet with a food diary. And then start to support digestive health. Good bacteria, probiotics, fermented foods, uh, any, any nutrients that will support, that will uh, help your body process foods are going to be helpful. Digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes for your longevity, also lecithin, granules, uh, apple cider vinegar after all your meals, HCL, you can get hydrochloric acid drops from a, a pharmacist, anything that supports digestive health. In the short term, in the immediate term, Kyle, you might want to try some Benadryl capsules. And if those work, that's telling you that you're having an allergic response. And if it's an allergic response, then it's pretty much got to be something that you're eating that you're allergic to. So take some Benadryl. Uh, the one knock on Benadryl is that it'll make you sleepy. So you might want to take them at night, uh, Benadryl. But that, that, that ought to do the trick, at least for the symptoms. It's not going to take care of the problem, but it ought to do the trick for the symptoms. Here's the thing, Kyle. If your immune system is activated in the skin, it's activated in other places in the body. And that means you're running higher risks for other health challenges. So this is much more significant than just a topical rash. You, you follow me? This is something that yeah. you really want to be, you want to cut to the chase and get to the root of the problem because it could get worse. All right? Internally, it could get worse. Did I help you, Kyle? Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. Okay, good deal. Hope everything works out for you. And that's all the time we have for today. Apologize if we left you on hold. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And if you want to sign up to join the Longevity team, call 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the websites. Have yourselves a beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.